Hey everyone, in my previous video I wanted to tell you more about the incredible experience of Semana Santa here in Spain, but talk about the camera kept getting in the way. I felt like I hadn't told you all that I really wanted to about the actual pictures that I'd taken. It feels a little strange discussing camera specifications while showing photographs from an event as grand as this, the Spanish Holy Week leading up to Easter Day. When I first visited Malaga two years ago, I saw people gathering to practice for the parades, but they were of course cancelled because of the emerging pandemic. These are the first parades here since all of that began. So as with many events this year, there was an additional sense of release and appreciation for doing normal things again. Not that any of this looks especially normal. Semana Santa really wasn't at all what I was expecting. There are a few pictures from Malaga by Joel Meyerwitz that had faintly formed my impression of how the parades might look. His photos are from the 1960s, I believe, and the few that I've seen show quieter moments with quite sparse crowds. They are just a glimpse of an event that seemed interesting yet modest. One or two pictures can't prepare you for this immense festival. The parades are formidable in their grandeur and duration. They march throughout the day and night and occupy the streets with both the number of participants and the huge crowds of spectators. Walking around the city freely at this time is nearly impossible. I would start to walk towards home or a restaurant and I'd see a giant and elaborate throne surrounded by people blocking the streets ahead of me. Roads are closed everywhere, partly by the police and partly simply by the number of people watching. The city is disrupted and maybe that's partly the point. If you've ever meditated, you'll understand the reward of just stopping everything. This is like an elaborate, beautiful way of saying you don't need to walk down that road right now. You don't need to go home or wherever you are hoping to. We're going to stop you in your tracks, and if you go with the flow, you might just appreciate it. Oh, and here's Jesus on a gold throne. Make of it all what you will. Maybe take a few pictures. The Easter story is a bittersweet one, and in keeping with that, Semana Santa is not a party. Sure, you can buy candy floss and donuts at the side of the road, but the parades often have a somber tone. Shunning a sense of celebration, is the arduousness with which the heavy thrones are carried. The people carrying them strain their faces from the weight on their shoulders, the thrones moving slowly but steadily along the streets. The crowds applaud spontaneously in appreciation and encouragement, often music plays. Close to midnight one evening, I decided I'd go into town for a short walk to get some fresh air, just to walk with my camera. I quickly saw that the crowds were unusually close to where I've been living. Unexpectedly, the parade was just moments away, so I walked a little way down to see it and gathered with others on the sides of the streets. My apartment is up a little hill, so as the throne and parade appeared at the end of the road, there was a more formidable task than usual ahead of them. The lights from the candles and the gold of the throne, shimmering in the amber streetlight, was surreal and beautiful. Gradually the vision came closer and the pain on the faces of those carrying the throne became clear. The music from the accompanying brass band grew more intense. The golden structure was beside me and began to rock from side to side as those carrying it tried to steady it and gain some forward momentum to reach the top of the road. I thought it might easily topple sideways into the crowd perhaps on my side. There was nowhere for us to move to avoid it on the narrow streets. I looked at the faces of the people carrying this weight. I looked up at the road to the steps I'd climbed on my first day in the city years ago. There was no momentum though. It all just rocked sideways, towering above us all. The music continued to play louder and stronger until there was a wonderful moment of where the music seemed to lift the throne onwards 
and slowly turn like a ship at the top of my road. <laughs>